Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So the video you're about to watch is a flight test of the PowerVision PowerVeg. The video you're watching on this little intro is also recorded on that. I did point out in the video that you're about to watch that I didn't, this is stuck out of the box, I have adjusted absolutely nothing and calibrated nothing by the compass. You're going to see the gimbal needed calibrating. When I came home I did calibrate the gimbal and it was actually quite a bit out so the next video that I do on this you'll see that the gimbal should look better. I haven't tested it again yet, but you can see it was quite a way out. So enjoy the video that's coming up, and thanks very much, and have a fantastic day. Okay, it's up and running, so let's take off. It's auto take off. Okay, so that's it's hover. I remember it has got sensors underneath this, so you are going to get... The latency's not too bad, I thought the latency might have been worse on the screen, but it's not too bad. So remember today is very much just fly it, and let's see what that video looks like. So let's start the video. Yeah, the indicator's told me it started recording. So let's take it out and see what it's like. It is very strange not having a front and a back, but you kind of, it's kind of not too bad. You can use your screen, obviously what it's like so let's just go up a bit higher and then let's use that 360 let's see what it looks like if we pan round with the gimbal see how good the video looks the wheel seems to, the amount of pressure you put on the wheel seems to affect its speed so that's all one way, I believe. Let's go back the other way. It looks smooth enough on my screen. Obviously, we'll tell when we watch the video back, but it doesn't look bad at all. Now the trick is, which way is facing forward? Ah, oh, we got it straight away. That's not too bad. Okay, let's get a bit more altitude. So I'm not testing anything today by flying it. So the return to home and everything, so what we're gonna test in another video. And I'm not gonna go that far with it today. I just wanna get a feel for the drone. It actually flies differently than I thought and actually flies better than I thought it was gonna to fly, to be honest. I expected it to be a bit wandery, but I don't know if you can see that on the camera because it's a distance away, but it's absolutely locked in there. And it doesn't appear to really drop altitude. I'm just looking at my, dis my height. Drops a bit, but nothing. Oh, I don't know if it has actually. According to the GPS, it's saying it's 21 meters and it stayed at 21. Let's just get it above me. Get a bit of um, shake when it stops. Obviously, let's take the gimbal down a bit. The gimbal control feels a little, I, think, I know you could adjust this and I've not adjusted anything. Remember everything you're going to watch today is stock. So let's just actually start the screen recording going so I can get a bit of screen recording. I'm not going to put too much on just so you can see what the screen looks like when it's flying. See what I see. But the app's quite, as I said the app on the, on the review on this, the opening review, the app's quite minimal. The one thing that was a bind to do was calibrating the compass but hopefully I'll explain that in the first part of this video because it's very strange to buy to calibrate it's not like normal you have to actually start with it on the floor which is quite strange it doesn't actually tell you that so I found that out by trial and ever and the other thing I said about it, it takes it a while to get set up it didn't take me that long today a couple of minutes actually because I'm used to having to play with it now So it's dead stable there. Let's try the, let's go up a little bit higher. Let's try that pan again. 
a very bright day today it's not that warm it's the UK remember but it is actually very bright so let's try the gimbal movement again now it's looking a bit stuttery on my screen but I don't know whether that's just the video lag you get back to your screen or whether it's going to look like that on the video remember I haven't done anything I haven't calibrated the gimbal or anything this is stuck out of the box so I'd expect it to have some gimbal issues maybe not being level etc so I haven't done anything this is just very much to get a flavour for the drone see what this camera looks like how it performs so so far I'm surprised how well it I thought it'd be all right I mean it was 1300 quid but you never know do you so it definitely is flying something like it looks strange in the air I'll be honest with you Now what it doesn't do is what I expected it to do, I thought it might have had a bit of a pendulum effect because you've got all that weight below your arms and you do get a little bit of that when you stop hard if you stop slowly it doesn't do it at all, there's no swing at all and you expect it to swing because obviously you've got a lot of weight under the arms but no, nope, don't really notice any of that and the video footage to me, on the screen certainly, looks quite good It's was a hell of a lot of money when it came out and uh, incredible amount of money but you're paying what you're paying for is the way they built the flipping thing they haven't skimped corners on the build you know on the quality of the materials they've used or anything and this controller i thought it might feel a bit heavy in my hand but it doesn't at all very much used to it already some people might prefer to use a strap on here i, I don't i prefer not to have a lanyard on it but height but 76 meters there I'm only doing a short screen recording I'm probably going to turn it off in a second because of the fact that I didn't wipe space out on my phone and my phone's quite well so let me just stop the screen recording to make sure I actually get some make sure it saves Yeah, looking good. So we've got some screen recording that'll have popped up on the screen. You've already seen it, so. so like I said, I don't really I'm just getting used to it today and it did a different drone to fly, I won't be lying to you. It's not it's quite quick as well. It flies a bit differently than some of the other drones. That's three hundred and fifty meters that. Get the direction right, it's actually something you don't I had a feeling this would happen, once you're flying it you don't really notice that it's not got a front and a back if you like because I don't suppose when you're this kind of height you can see the front of a Mavic anyway can you or anything like that The sticks feel really nice on this. A bit soft, if anything, so there's not enough spring tension for me. You don't really get high spring tension on a camera drone. On the FPV racing drones, I have uh, what is my left stick, but that would be to most people their right stick because I fly mode one. I have a lot of tension on that. I like the spring back, and on, I have a very sloppy throttle. I like the throttle to be very loose uh, when I'm flying, so this feels a bit sloppy, but very precise. The drone flies really nice. I've obviously seen some videos of this and I've seen some people comment that they think it's a piece of garbage or... But remember, I'm reviewing this at £350 as always. I do not review at the retail price. I review at the price I pay for it, so... And one thing you won't see is everything you're going to see on the video you're watching is completely as it came from the SD card or my GoPro that's on my head. I don't edit anything. I don't cut out bad stuff so if you've got judder on the screen you can see from the gimbal it really will be there there's no point sugarcoating something 
So my review on this is for reviewing a 350 quid drone and is it worth 350 quid, not 1300. Okay, let's just stop it, hold it there for a minute. And just check the battery condition. So the battery's saying 79% and I can't, how long have I been videoing for? No, it's white on white because of the sky showing white. But, so this video has been going this long and I calibrated the compass, set it all up and it took me six goes to calibrate the compass. So battery life seems decent. We're going to do a proper test on the battery life when I do some more testing with this, but so far, normally I'd go a lot further out than this, obviously, as you probably see from my videos, but today is very much getting used to it. It's quite loud, I'll be honest with you, you can hear it in the air. <laughs> it's not stealthy. So let's just bring it down a bit. The legs come down at a certain altitude, I don't know what that is, we're going to find out together. Let's hope they do, I'll be catching it. And I don't really fancy catching it because I'm propped up like it could do me some serious damage. I don't know if you can see on video, but there is a bit of swing on there, but the video on my screen looks good, but you probably see it in the GoPro, when it's coming down, there's a bit of swing. But I'm not really noticing that on the screen record, on the screen here, I can't obviously tell you what the camera looks like, because we need to go and put it on the PC and let's have a look at that, but... Okay, let's just bring it down. Let's make sure, let's see what it does after it's been flying a bit. Does it lose any height? Seems quite loud. You probably can hear that now. But the gimbal seems to be doing okay. Now, whether that looks as good when you get it down. So, when are you going to put your legs down? There you go. Legs are down. Let's just bring it towards the map. It does look strange when you put the legs down. So, let's just... Look at it really close up and see you can tell how noisy it is. Okay, so that's my first flight. We've got 77% left in the battery and we were recording for 12 minutes according. So that's pretty much awesome. Obviously I wasn't flying any distance and it'll probably be one of these battery meters that starts quite high and stays quite high and then drops quite rapidly towards the end. There's quite a few like that. But first flight, more than happy with it. Is it a novelty? Well, I don't know. Let's have a look what the video looks like and you tell me. I've got another, I'm gonna do another at least two videos on this because I wanna go through the features with you and I wanna go take it on a distance to see what it looks like. Now I'm happy with it, I'm confident to fly it. So, thanks ever so much for watching. You have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.